In the last six months, I made over $100,000 by posting Instagram Reels, which takes me anywhere from two to three hours per day. So here are six steps if you want to turn your Instagram Reels into very profitable business. So first of all, why Instagram Reels is a such a great way to generate attention and make money. If you compare Instagram Reels to other platforms like YouTube, for example, it could literally take you five to 10 times longer to generate any real traction there. And what I love about Instagram is that it has all the features needed for your audience to reach out to you, making it very personal platform. And this personal touch of Instagram is very great for selling. Additionally, with Instagram Reels, you can go viral pretty quickly, build a large following base, and then monetize it. And that leads us to the first step, which is generating attention flow. However, at a start, it's very hard to gain momentum, so we gotta create it from scratch. I recently grew a brand new Instagram page from total scratch without even promoting it from my personal brand or anything like that. And I did this just to prove to myself that I can actually do this. And I can tell you that generating attention flow at the start it all comes down to creating viral reels and you can do this by taking a look at what is currently trending on reels simply open up your reels tab on instagram and have a look what is being recommended to you and has high metrics if a video has a ton of likes shares and comments most likely something in that video worked pretty well. So what you can do is you can remake the same video yourself using the same audio and maybe adopting the video hook and overall video framework. Here's my personal example. So I saw a video that worked really well and had a similar hook. I remade the video with a slightly different hook and added my own unique spin with the caption and voila over 1 million views within a week. And that should be your goal when you're starting out. Don't reinvent the wheel too much and just go with what is working right now at the moment. But once you start going viral, I don't recommend you to wait any longer and you can actually create and launch some sort of product. However, I highly recommend making that product free so you can start collecting emails and feel like you're actually running a business. This is gonna boost your confidence and you're also gonna start building your email list. At this point, I have over 50,000 people email list. So imagine how powerful it is to have this large email list with let's say 40% open rates, right? That means 20,000 people going to see what you write to them directly. But you definitely have to build this over time and starting out with a free product is definitely a best idea. It could honestly be anything, a preset, a mini course, a notion template or whatever suits your expertise. Just get started and build something out that comes from your expertise or your niche. Maybe as you went viral, you learned a specific way to edit your reels or people are constantly asking you, hey, what form you're using or what preset you're using well that knowledge could literally be turned into a digital product and i highly recommend to listen to your audience because if people are asking you constantly hey what type of preset you're using that could be a digital product idea and get it done as quickly as you can because as you start going viral you don't want to miss out a potential traffic that could be sent to your free products as you start building your audience merely just having a free product linked in your bio is not enough you have to constantly direct people to that free product and the best way I found to do this sort of thing is to constantly promote your free product via your stories and also in your captions under your posts this will not only build your email list rapidly but also significantly gonna boost your post engagement so first let's talk about stories never just direct link people to that free product yes you're gonna get some signups but you can get much more signups doing it the smart way and that is quite frankly a lazy way to do it okay so in Instead, actually put out a story that looks like this. What will happen is that you will receive a ton of direct messages and your story views will skyrocket and you're gonna get a ton of new emails from people signing up for your free product. Now, the second thing is to mention your free product in the caption, just the way I did in this one. As you can see, I wrote a longer caption and I added a specific keyword that people need to comment and then they're gonna get the free product, right? And just take a look at how many comments this post got more comments means more engagement and that translates to more views and more followers of course and this is how over time you're gonna build out a large pipeline of consistent traffic of people going and signing up for your free product all right cool so you probably are doing great but you haven't made any money if you have been only promoting your free product right and that is totally fine
fine though. You've given away value for free and built a good reputation, right? The more you can give out for free, the more money you're gonna make in the long term. And I witnessed that myself when one day I managed to make over $4,000 in profit. Now, obviously to monetize, you're gonna need to build some sort of product or service, right? And my advice here is for you to not build out a product beforehand. Instead, consider doing a pre-launch or selling some sort of high ticket offer such as coaching or a service. It highly depends on what your free product was. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a free detoxing mini course as an example, okay? Because recently I had a student who started earning $100 per day with her digital product in the detoxing space. So here's what I would do. First, as I mentioned, do a pre-launch. Offer a paid product that is 10 times more valuable than your free product. To make it more valuable, you can add private community access, more lessons, accountability, and so on. Just overall adding more value to the product. You can also sell one-on-one -on -one coaching or some sort of service. So you sell kind of like more one-on-one -on -one access to you. But if you're going to go with the digital product route, set the price between 47 and 97 at the start. If it's a done for you service or coaching, go for a one-time payment of $300. If you never made money online, start small. Okay. Don't believe all these gurus telling you to charge people $3,000 right away when you don't know what you're doing. Okay. So once you figure out which one are you going to sell, send an email campaign promoting that product or service. You can literally create a payment link via Stripe, plug it into the email and send it to your audience. Now, when it comes down to promoting your paid product on Instagram stories, this is where you need to be smart okay a lot of people make a big mistake when trying to promote something on their stories remember that you're always gonna get a less views if you're promoting something on stories and direct linking to a product so here is a smart way to do it first of all before promoting a product or anything make sure a story is refreshed and you don't have any active stories at the moment that will always give you more views secondly warm up your audience before the promotion for example anytime i promote my products which i do very rarely right like max two to three times per month i always put out a testimonial or like a review story or student results story one day before right once that story has run its course then i put out a promotional story for the program i always reduce the price and add a timer for how long the discount is going to last now it's very important not to lie to people because honestly they can see through it right and it's not effective to constantly put out your product on a discount two to three times per month doing a discount to increase some sales is a reasonable because at the end of the day you want to run a profitable business and not a charity right and if you provide a ton of value for free you also want to receive something in return however i would not recommend offering discounts for your product every time warm up your audience for the promotion by sharing the results that your product delivers so for example if it's a fitness product share the results of your client one day before the promotion once that story expires and it's no longer active put out a promotion for your program adding some sort of discount to increase conversions because you always want to make a great deal for your audience that is what i found is the best way to promote something on your stories if you are directly linking to a product you want to create kind of like a small sales funnel on your stories. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you want to grow a profitable brand on Instagram in 2023 and beyond, my program with private community access, page audits, and much more is linked down below under this video. It's going to be the first link. Thank you for watching.